Hi there, this is Mike Wheeler from MikeWheelerMedia.com. I wanted to show you what objects are available in the service cloud or the sales cloud in Salesforce. It's a common point of confusion knowing which objects you can access or which are related to just the service cloud or sales cloud. So in the SOAP API developer guide, which is available online, I'll share this link in the description of the video. You've got uh, different object diagrams available. I'm on the support objects diagram. I was hitting this because I'm trying to explain some concepts towards the Service Cloud Consultant Certification Exam, which I've got a course coming out soon for that. And so I wanted to take time out from recording those lectures in order to share this publicly and make you aware that you can access these different ERD diagrams. And we've got support objects that has to do with the Service Cloud. And uh, there's also sales objects. And some of these overlap, you'll see contact and account. For example, here's contact and here's account. But then in the support objects, you'll find contact up here. The main thing to keep in mind is that if you're ever curious how these different objects relate, you could always hit this sort of diagram in your own Salesforce instance through the schema builder. But if you just need a quick reference diagram of the main objects and how they relate, you can pull this up. And so I encourage you to bookmark this SOAP API developer guide, even if you're not a developer. This is helpful for admins and consultants as well. And then in addition to the support and the sales objects, there's also other object diagrams such as task and event objects. That kind of uh, crosses all boundaries in Salesforce, for example. Another thing that's of interest is the document note and attachment objects. There's a lot of changes happening with how Salesforce handles uh, attachments and files. So you can see how all of that relates as well. And you'll notice the account and contact objects come into play here, in addition to notes and users and documents and attachments, and then the different objects that attachments can connect with. I don't know if these diagrams are exhaustive, or if it's just some commonly referenced objects. But for example, some things that you may not be familiar with if you've just passed the admin exam and have not gotten into the service cloud at all. You may have never touched entitlements, for example. And this way you can begin to start to visualize some of these objects that you may not be familiar with, such as like case milestone or case solution or service contract as well, and see where these come into play. Other things that you'll find helpful, especially if you're studying for the advanced administrator exam, would be territory management. I know that that's something that gets much more in depth on the advanced administrator exam, which I've got a course. I'm going to be uh, creating that course after I'm done with Service Cloud. And so that should be my next course that comes out uh, in the coming weeks or months. Uh, no promises, but hope to have that out soon. And then as well, forecasts are another advanced admin sort of functionality. And so these are things that are just briefly touched on in the administrator exam and are much more in depth in the advanced administrator. So the SOAP API developer guide, bookmark this, learn it, love it, reference it at your own convenience. In the meantime, be sure and subscribe to Mike Wheeler Media on YouTube. Check me out on uh, MikeWheelerMedia.com and I'll see you next time.